Constitutional Conversations is a series of discussions by America's leading scholars about the principles, framing, ratification, and implementation of constitutional government in the United States. This series is hosted by the James Madison Memorial Fellowship Foundation of Alexandria, Virginia. I like the title of this series, Constitutional Conversations, because you might ask what part did Dolly play in the conversation, given that the Constitution was written before she was uh, even met him. And the answer really lies in the thought behind not just the Constitution, but the whole Republican experiment. So I think we're familiar with uh, some antecedents to the Constitution, like the Magna Carta, uh, we think of sometimes the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution as a Lockean document, John Locke. But there was another school of thought that was very influential at the time, and it's called the Scottish Enlightenment. And it came from a group of mostly men uh, in the early part of the 18th century. Uh, this is the new Scotland, the Scotland that was incorporated into Great Britain. And the famous names you might recognize are David Hume and Adam Smith. And this was a school of thought that was perfect for a young nation, a young nation who was creating its own laws, which sounds very exciting, but is also very scary. And in short, what the Scottish Enlightenment said was that laws may come and go because they were building new laws, but what holds society together? And the answer was what they called manners. Now, manners were not what fork to use, but really how we treat each other, how conventions, customs, long-held beliefs, tradition. And if you think about it, the, the people in charge of that thing usually are women. And so in the conception of the Scottish Enlightenment, women had an important role to play. They were going to hold the whole thing together while the men kind of tried these laws out. So upon meeting Dolly, um, she certainly could have fit into this idea. Because remember, the Founding Fathers were not just creating a new kind of government. They saw it, quite rightly, as the world made anew. And that meant that every element of society, whether it was how we interacted with each other, or social events, or how we did almost anything, built our houses, had to be Republican, as they would put it, a small r Republican. That's one way I think that Dolly enters the constitutional conversation. I must also say that the Constitution, I always say it's a blueprint for government, but it's not a handbook. It's a theory, a theory that really had never been tried in all of human history. A republic? A big republic? A modern republic? How was that going to work? Well, James Madison and other founders gave it a lot of deep thought but it was up to what I call, with a nod to Star Trek, the next generation, to put it into action. How was this really going to work on the ground? Now, Dolly was, oh, about 17 years younger than James. She's still a little bit part of the founding generation, but she's got her foot in that next generation. And she's going to be the one who's going to take these uh, precepts and work them out in the federal government. And she does so in very interesting ways. Constitutional Conversations is made possible by a generous grant from the Fairley S. Dickinson, Jr. Foundation. Constitutional Conversations is made possible by the James Madison Education Fund. <laughs>